Good morning, everyone. Peace be with you. Well, I guess it's good to be back in school and mixing with some of your friends again. And this term, we're going to be thinking about friendship. What it means to be someone's friend and have somebody as our friend. I wonder how you chose the people you have as your friends. Was it something they said when you first met them? Just something you liked about them? Perhaps the way they smiled, or because they were kind, or because they were nice. Perhaps for a moment, you just might like to think about what makes your best friend your best friend. Just think about that for a second. I'm sure you came up with lots of ideas and you can share those perhaps with your friends later on. But you know, when it comes to choosing friends, we can't be a friend of someone unless they want to be our friend. Because friendship is a two way thing. You can't be a friend just by yourself. And so we have to think really careful about how we choose our friends. And you know, Jesus chose his friends as well. Of course, Jesus wants to be everybody's friend, but not everybody wants to be a friend of Jesus. And back when Jesus was walking around and, and choosing his friends, he did so in a very strange and different way. As we know, Jesus chose 12 people to be his special friends. But did Jesus choose them or did they choose Jesus? Let me tell you a story of the way Jesus found two of his friends. Peter, sometimes known as Simon, and his brother Andrew were fishermen and they were on the shore of Galilee building their nets. And suddenly they saw Jesus strolling along on the seashore. Well, they knew a little bit about Jesus because they'd seen him around and they'd, they'd heard the sort of things he was doing. So he wasn't exactly a stranger. But they didn't really know him that well. But Jesus walked up to them and he asked them what they were doing and they told them that they were fishermen and that they were mending their nets. And Jesus said something really strange to them. He said, if you come with me, if you be my friend, I will make you fishes of men. Now they might have thought about this for a little while, but not Peter and Andrew. They immediately dropped what they were doing and went to be friends with Jesus. So that was two of his friends. Then, a little bit further along the shore, he came across two more fishermen. Again, they were in their boat, but they were in the boat not mending their nets, they were just sitting in the boat with their father called Zebedee. And James and John saw Jesus coming and again they sort of knew him a little bit but not very well. But when Jesus got to them he started talking to them and he said to them, come and follow me. And just like Peter and Andrew, James and John climbed out of the boat and went to be Jesus' special friends. And as we know, Jesus then gathered around him a few more special friends. And you might like to spend some time just discovering who those special friends were. Perhaps get one of the teachers to read you some of the other stories in the Bible about how Jesus found those friends. But just like them, we can choose to be a friend of Jesus if we want to. He never makes us be his friend. He wants to be our friend. But it's our choice whether we choose to be his friend. So let's uh, just be quiet for a moment. And take some time to think and some time to pray. Dear God, we thank you for our friends. We thank you for the fun we have and the times we spend together. We thank you that Jesus wants to be our friend. Help us to make the right choice about whether we want to be his friend too. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of whatever it is you've got planned to do today. 
and I will be back with you next week when we'll look at what it actually means to be somebody's friend and the things that friends do for one another. Bye for now.